I grew up having religion. I didn't have a fire. I didn't have an intensity for Jesus. But I was raised in a Christian home. However, my father was very controlling. I grew up feeling intimidated and fearful. At the age of nine, I began battling anxiety and depression. And when my daughter got into the fifth grade, I saw that same spirit come on her. But four years ago, I gave my life to Christ. He set me free and He consumed me with His power. I've been walking closely with the Lord for seven years now. And when I first came to God, my family was completely against it. They would constantly criticize me. And I found myself having to find ways to go to service because they would forbid it. I believed the lies of the enemy that told me I wasn't good enough, that told me I would never marry, that told me I was going to stay single for the rest of my life, that told me that God didn't have anyone special for me. And believing these lies led me to make many compromises. At the age of seven, I was molested by my cousin, which led me to depression. Because of my depression, I didn't like what I saw in the mirror. I would constantly compare myself to others. My mother's life patterns followed me and I got into a relationship with a controlling boyfriend. At the time of my daughter's attack, my husband was not yet saved, so I found myself fighting and spirit in spiritual warfare alone for her. I didn't have the luxury at the time of a husband who interceded for his family and his children. These four years have not been easy to do because I have been betrayed by those who claim to love God and by those who promised me to be Seven years now, and I'm still anointing the house and laying hands on the family. change on September 27, 2009. I decided to walk away from the compromises and I decided to fight for a deep relationship with God. See, so many times people when they compromise and because they fail, they choose not to fight. They choose to throw the towel in and they choose to just give up. They choose to think that it's over. But instead of doing that, I chose to fight. Because I believed God's word for my life, I overcame. Today, I am the junior high and high school pastor, and I have remained pure. I am, but I didn't give up. And I knew what God had for me and my family. I believed what he had for my family, and I kept praying, and I went after it on my knees. But I keep fighting like a good fight of faith, and I don't let anything get in. Are they saved yet? No. Will I continue to fight? Yes. I am an answer. I am a warrior. I am an answer. I am a warrior. I am an answer and I am a warrior. Because I am an answer and I am a warrior. Because I am an answer and I am a warrior. I am. I am. I am. I am a warrior.